Hey guys, Minecraft Maniac 55 here. Again, with uh, some, 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 Minecraft, yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Um, today I'm overlooking the uh, snapshot 12, 12, W37, 37A, yeah, that's what it's called. So, um, let's jump right into it. So, first off, you have the, uh, these skulls kind of things. You see, um, right there's one of them, for example. And I'll just throw that in there. Throw all this stuff in there. And, um, yeah, that, that's pretty cool. Um, where is it? In here. So you have a skeleton skull with a skeleton. I'll get into that. You have a head and a creeper head. So, um, first off, I'll show you. You can place the skeleton stuff in any direction, like... I think it's 16 blocks, yeah, in any direction. See, like there, diagonal looks pretty. Then all around, all over the place. Put it anywhere at any time. But you can't stack them on top of each other, which which I think sucks. But um, you can also wear them, yeah. See, put the, the creeper on my face so I look like Mr. Creeper. Ha, ha, ha. Got the Mr. Creeper mojo going on, yeah. I can also be wear my own head, the Steve head, which would look really weird though. <laughs> it's like just my skin, but with the Steve head. And then I'll show you how how I look with the rest too. There's the zombie. Uh, just letting you know, if you wear these, the the the, the enemies won't think that you're a skeleton. They won't they won't think that you're like actual. They'll still know it's like, it's not them. So, let's get into the next thing. Perfect, I have a pig with me. So, if you take a carrot, well, you already know this if you've seen the previous snapshot, but if you take a carrot and a fishing rod, you can do dish, and you can make the, uh, the carrot on a stick. Now, when you hold it, the pigs come to you. Oh, I forgot to grab a saddle. Um, so pigs follow you. It's kind of like, um, bringing, grabbing wheat on them, too. Put it, like, taking out wheat and just doing stuff. What was I gonna get? Oh yeah, a saddle. I have to search for it, because I'm too lazy to find it. So, um, take it out, plop it on the pig, plop, and then you get on him. And now, whenever you point, wherever you point, he'll go. And also, if you hit it, it gives you like a little bit of motiv motivation to like follow you. So that's pretty cool. Also, if you, um, if you tap space, oh no, sorry. If you right click, if you right click, it'll keep making it, making him go faster. And also, as you see, he um, as you see, he he goes pretty fast, and he also goes up like one block. That means he's like jumping for joy. And if you double tap space, he goes even faster. I I just noticed that. Like you can tell. Okay, okay, you can calm down, pig, pig, you're going too fast. Ah. So, um, as you see, look, if you look at the screen, like, you see how it just, like, zoomed out? That means he's, like, sprinting. That's pretty cool. Then you just keep right-clicking, and it'll go so much faster. So that's pretty good if you're running away from mobs. Thank you, pig. Okay, so let me put this stuff away. Next, uh, they have the new foods, which is pretty cool. Uh, they have the pumpkin pie pumpkin pie something like that they have the new food you could you can eat it you can munch on it watch I'll go to game mode survival and perfect it's just nighttime I have to set it today <laughs> watch oh pff. all right so you can eat it but I eventually have to run out of food so Hopefully if I jump around after a while, jumping around and just... I think that's pretty cool, like how the pig can, you you can like, you have to obey the pig and stuff like that. And you have to, um, well no, you don't have to, what, what did I just, you don't have to obey the pig. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so, you can ride on the pig, and you can change its speed whenever you want. And the skulls are pretty cool, but I think it's weird. I don't I don't know how you're gonna get the skulls. I think they're just like randomly ge generated, or something like that. 
Ouch. Wait, did I just take damage from chopping off that that chest? Whatever. Um. Whoops. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, attack the pig for no reason. Uh, whatever. I'm not gonna. Oh wait, I did. So I can nom on it now, and then I'll store my hunger. So let me go back to creative. Okay. So next, next I'm gonna talk about the uh, leather stuff. The leather stuff has like new design now. Like you see the leather cap, it's like has a little line through it, and uh, the boot, the tunic has like little buttons on it. The pants are the same pretty much, but they have like lines, and the boots have lines too. So it's pretty much just like it, like kind of like a style kind of thing. I mean, you could still, um, I mean, you could still dye it, but it looks different. You see how, how it's not like it's not all dyed red. When I dye it, it's not all of it isn't dyed. Like parts are stay stay parts stay red. Except for the tunic though. Um look I'll put this on for an example. So as you can see you got like the little brown line there and like the knee pads going on. Stuff like that and then yeah so that's pretty cool. And I think the, the the tools still change color considering what you have what item you have in your hand. Oh no, they f they fixed that. That's bad. Oh oh well. Um. Okay. So next, I am going to talk about the Wither Boss, which is uh, made. If you go, whoops, I deleted those by accident. But uh, it doesn't matter. So first, I'll show you for an example. Um. You, uh, I'll take this diamond sword, not a golden sword, I don't like butter swords. I'll take the diamond sword, um, then I'll take the flint and steel, and then I'll make another portal. Not even sure if this is right, because I, I am bad at making stuff in Minecraft. There we go. Now let's hop into the nether really quick. Whoa. Whoa, 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 nope, don't wanna do that. Nope, no, 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 no. Okay. So as you can see, we are in the nether. We are in the nether. Now, let's hope that I find one. Why is my render distance on time? Hmm. Where are these little guys? Well, I could just spawn one. I think. Hopefully. Uh. Nope. Don't have eggs for them yet. Well, there are these guys. If I can't find one, there are these guys called uh. Wither skeletons. That that, that basically are like skeletons, but they have a sword and they're black. They're like they're like they have like a black texture, and um, they're rare kind of in the Nether, but you find them in here. Oh, floating Nether wreck must break. Um, you find them here, stuff like that, and um, when you kill them, they they have a chance of dropping the sword that they're holding. Let's hop back to the thing that to here so I can show you. Um, but for example, they drop like they could drop. Um, they could drop, uh. They drop the skulls. The wither skeleton skulls. So that's pretty cool. Um. And you can use those skulls if you get, um, the skull, which is hard, kinda. But if you also get soul sand, which is pretty easy, because it's in the nether. You need three skulls to do this, by the way. So you start making it like. You start making like an iron golem. And then, um. Whoops, I don't want to make it near my chest. Because I need the chest. I need the chest, baby. Just looking. Um, so you see... Yeah, because he... The, the Wither Boss got kind of updated a bit. I know I didn't show it in my last because I forgot about it. I also forgot about the, um... What's it called? The corner stairs, but it's okay. Um, so... When you place three, you make the Wither Boss. And he's like blue... 
he's all like charging up it himself and stuff like that. And once he's charged, wait for it. Boosh! Murders all the pigs and goes on a rampage. Murdering everyone. Hey, buddy. Ha, how you doing? Da. Oh, God. <laughs> and you can't hit back his explosives. He just starts going, flying around, murdering all the mobs. And, uh, so let's, for example, let's kill him. Just so we can show you what he drops after you kill him. So you need the, you need to find a wither skeleton, which are kind of rare. So, um... But, and also he breaks blocks, so like, and, and after, um, after you bring him his health half down, he starts to heal himself, but you're like, no, you are not going to heal yourself, you are going to die a deadly death. Um, so, now he dies, and did you see that little star that fell? Yeah, pick that up. He dropped what's called the nether star, and I don't know why, but that, okay, it disappears. Um, so. See that? It's the nether star. And also, he destroys whatever blocks, so if you try to hide behind him, like, some anything, he'll break through it, except for bedrock, which you can't even find. So, I'll take this glass and the obsidian. So, I need the nether star to make something pretty cool. Take the glass, go like that, and then take the obsidian, and voila, you have a beacon. Which is, uh, kind of like an upgrade thing. So, let me grab, hold up. Let me just grab put these over there. Let me just grab uh, some emeralds, for example. So I'll put the beacon down. And now, you see how there's like a bunch of stuff like primary power, secondary power. Yeah, that's... Uh, those are like different powers that you can get. But the only way you can get those powers is if you make a pyramid with these. With diamond blocks, emerald blocks, uh, gold blocks, or iron blocks. That's what you need. So you can go like this and do that. And then you can place the emerald in. And as you see, it lights up. Then when you then you have the, these two abilities speed and haste. So yeah. And then when you um when you click done, you get speed. But you can only get speed in like the range of your of your little pyramid thing. So if you go farther away You'll have it for like time, the time remaining, and then it runs out. See, like if you go all the way over here, it'll run out. Watch. See, it, ran, it runs out. But the bigger the pyramid you have, the longer of a range you get. See, I just got it back, so I'll destroy that and make an even bigger pyramid. I shall make the butcher pyramid. Um, so, say I'll go over here where the wither boss blew up, <laughs> and uh, I'll make a pyramid, so, I don't know, I'm just gonna, I think this is right, I don't know, just doing random stuff. Mm-hmm. Hopefully this is right. I really don't care if it's wrong, but... So you make this pyramid, and you had to hit it wrong. I need one more layer. Sorry, two more layers, one like this too. So, yeah. So you make the butter pyramid, which you need a lot of resources for. Then you put the vegan block on top. There. Now it should light up. Yep, it does. And then you just place the emerald in. And you see how you have like all these speeds? You have a uh, you already have regeneration, but you have strength, resistance, jump boost, haste, and speed. I'm gonna give jump boost. Because I like that. So now what the? Oh right, I didn't put the emerald in. So now, if you put like an emerald in, you get a jump boost, which it do it doesn't do that much though. Like, see, it's only a little bit. You can jump two blocks, I think. 
Wait, let me see. Not even like more than more than half a block. So that's pretty cool. And um, yeah. So it gives you powers as long as you're in the range. As you can see, the range even goes up to this far. I think yeah, goes up to this far. Uh, and then like after this far, I guess it just stops. But I mean, it's still pretty cool. Where does it start? Where does it get into range? Okay, yeah. That's no butter. That's where I drop. That's there. That's where the range is. So that's pretty cool. All of the new stuff, the sturf, the sturf that came out. Oh, that new sturf. Uh. Yeah. Also, they changed the textures for uh, for the food. It's true. You see, over here, they changed all the textures so they don't look like so cheesy anymore. And instead of the carrot being like multiple carrots, it's a single carrot. They changed the golden carrot too. Sorry, I just cracked my knuckles. Uh. Um. Also, um. Also, I forgot, when when the Wither attacks you, when the Wither boss attacks you, he gives you this thing called Wither, which you probably know about, but, um, it, like, it turns your hearts black, so you don't know how many hearts you have left. So, yeah, that's pretty cool, too. I guess it would be pretty bad, actually. <laughs> um, well, this is all for now. Ugh, tired. <laughs> <clears throat> Hmm. Yeah, so you start losing hearts for no reason, and then when the Wither Boss hits you, all that stuff. So, I'll put the snapshot in the description if you want to download it, have fun, like go crazy. Go da do da do da. Place blocks everywhere. And then have fun. And then make a beacon block. And then go. Oh wait, I forgot. Uh I forgot about this one last thing. So I can save and quit the title. Um good thing I caught that. Uh so, as you see over here, there's set there's two um worlds that, that say something different. This one says snapshot twelve W thirty seven A and this one says copy of snapshot twelve W thirty seven A. When you click on it, you can you can recreate the world. You can recreate the world to make it as, as, like, say you, by accident, you were trying to make what I did. You were trying to make a snapshot video, and you started the world, and then you turned yourself into survival instead of turning yourself into creative, and you took off cheats. Well, you can exit to the main menu and go to recreate, which, um, which allows you to, to um, change your world, basically, and, and, like, change it around. So that's pretty cool. And it shows the seed if you want to keep it, so. Okay, and this one last thing. As you see, there's world type default, large biomes, and then when I click on super flat, you see that this tab comes up that says customize. So when I click on the customize, well, I'll make a new world instead of doing this. So, you see how it says customize. So when you click it, if you're, you're on super flat, here's like the default three blocks. You have the grass block, then you see top, it's the top layer, so... It's, it has one layer, and then dirt, two layers, and then bedrock is the bottom layer, which is one layer. So, you can, uh, change those layers. Like, but, um, not, you can't, like, change it to your own opinion. They have presets, which is a classic flat, Tunneler's Dream, which is a bunch of stone, Water World, which is all water, I think. Yeah, it's water, sand, dirt, stone, bedrock. Um... And then overworld is just with it's just basically the same thing but with stone. And then there's snowy kingdom, which is with snow. And then bottomless pit, which is basically the same thing as as classic flat. I don't even know why they have that. And then there's desert with sand and sandstone stuff like that. So um, that's pretty cool. Um, 
So when you customize, uh, when you can customize the presets too. So say you go to Tunneler Stream, um, I don't know what the one and the three in the between the colons is, but um, there's uh this thing called um, there are these symbols, like uh, I'll go to Classic Flat instead. So um, you see seven two by three comma two. Um, that means I, uh, hold up, seven is the, uh, ID of dirt, of, gra of, of a grass block, sorry, and, uh, and then two, la two layers of three, which is the ID of dirt, I mean, sorry, well, I'm messing up. Um, so yeah, you can just change it up. Uh, I'm not too sure. I think seven is the ID of bedrock, so there's one layer of that, and then two by three, that's the ID of dirt, and then there's two, one, which means one layer of grass. So yeah, you can figure out for yourself because I'm too stupid to explain what happens, and I'm tired. So you can like change it up, do cool stuff like that. And, yeah, that's pretty much it for this, guys. So, uh, I'll see you all next time. This is Minecraft Maniac 55 signing off. See you guys later.